Well, tech giant Tencent led an $80 billion sell-off across online names in China in response to sweeping new gaming regulations restrictions from Beijing. Now, the new curbs, which caught many investors and industry members by surprise, are reminiscent of China's tech sector crackdown in late 2020, which, as you remember, wiped out more than a trillion dollars off Chinese big tech names. For a closer look at some of the moves that we're seeing, the sell-off, Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery standing by at the big board, Jared. This has echoes of 2020, and as you were saying, Shauna, that was when uh, there was a lot of fears that China was going to crack down, and in fact, they did on the tech sphere. Uh, exactly how far this is going to go, we don't know, but the history is long and storied. And you can see, and it's not just Tencent, a lot of these Chinese issues are down considerably. Alibaba down 2%, Pinduoduo down 3%. And if I sort by performance here, some of the worst uh, losers here, Netties, that is down over 20%. We have Billy Billy, that's down 10%. And uh, not all of these, uh, not all of these tickers that are down so much necessarily have that much to do with gaming. But you can see there, Tal Education Group, that is down about 9% in extended hours trading. And let me just go to my gaming heat map. Uh, this covers not only. Uh, the Chinese gaming market, but around the world. And you can see a lot of other issues are down in sympathy here. Um, one of the biggest losers is this stock right here. Uh, this is Naspers, and uh, through its company process, it owns, it owns about 25% of Tencent. This is down 17% in Johannesburg trading. And uh, a lot of these tickers here in the U.S., some of these actually are OTC tickers. So we're not going to see those pre-market quotes from them. But when they open up, here's Tencent. I'm expecting that to be about down about 10, 15% here. So there are some considerable losses here. And all of this surrounds uh, these games, trying to get users to log in at least once per day. Uh, Chinese authorities don't think that's good for the social health of the company. And uh, here's, here's a statement from the Tencent vice president of games. He's saying the proposed curbs do not fundamentally change business models and operations. Well, that might be the case, but again, we don't know how far this is going to go. And the echoes of 2020 are when Alibaba was a target. Jack Ma was uh, kind of running his mouth at during at the time and saying a bunch of things that upset the party officials um, and they didn't like his capitalist leaning so much. So there was a multi-year prong to rein that in. If you remember the DD, uh, that's a ride hailing app that was uh, that IPO'd, I believe, in 2021. Chinese authorities did not like that it was listed here and they shut that down almost immediately. A lot of uh, negative statements that drove the stock price down and eventually DD relisted in Asia. So um, the reper repercussions from this are going to be felt not only on the open today, but in the days to come, and definitely a situation we're going to be monitoring, guys. Jared, the only situation I'm monitoring right now is your blazer. My goodness, ah, never you. one to miss a reason oh, to celebrate here, Jared. That. Yeah, I Valentine's love it. Day love too. the spirit. That, the detailing on that is incredible. It is giving suave <laughs> stocks for certain this morning here. Jared, <laughs> thanks so much for the update.